Hello everybody and welcome back to KSP POV where we play Kerbal Space Program in first person. I'm excited to get started. We are going to be continuing our uh, first steps as a fledgling agency and just work on getting ourselves off the ground and safely back down again. Uh, we are using unkerbled start so it wants us to do probes before our crew. However, uh, it is taking us quite a bit in order to make progress on actual rocketry. Uh, these, these engines are just not as powerful as they are in the stock uh, tech tree or the community tech tree. And it takes quite a bit to get to work our way through it. But we did a lot of contract grinding of the do the science around the KSC. And in the last, uh, in between the episode, we unlocked early aviation. Wings 2, Aviation, and Wings 3. And uh, that allows us to have better landing gear as well as actual uh, engines and uh, some uh, fan blade engines so we can do some of those uh, prop, uh, prop planes as well. And then uh, some a few extra wing parts. But we don't have enough science to unlock anything else so we are kind of done with that. Seems like a pretty interesting day for flying. Fairly cloudy, but uh, yeah, that is going to be our goal for the day. We have um, we have uh, flying low, complete a mystery goo observation. That one's in space. We're not going to do that. Not going to do this one, this one, or this one. So we only have one flying contract right now, and I think I want to pick up another one. Really make use out of all of. Uh, the contracts available. So we've got quite a few because I've added some flying, uh, some airplane contracts such as uh, I think make airplanes something or uh, useful, something like that. So we have parachute from a plane, but we're going to need two, two Kerbals here because they want you to actually land the plane safely as well. We can't just dump it into the ocean. Um, so we'll think about that. This one wants us to fly for 30 minutes above 3,000 meters. That's pretty easy. Um, uh, it's just, you know, a matter of time. Land a plane in the mountains. I don't know that I want to do this one. I feel like uh, that's just a recipe for disaster. Fly an airplane for 50 seconds above 2,000 meters. I think we can do that very easily. So let's go ahead and grab that. Fly an airplane to 5,000 meters. We can go ahead and... Ooh, we only have a couple contracts left. Let's see. Um, I think I'm going to get rid of this test shield. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this one. Uh, unfortunately, we'll lose some money and we'll lose a little bit of reputation from that. But... I, uh, I want to be able to, yeah, I know, I know, Gene, I'm sorry, but I want to be able to grab both these contracts, and, and we have a max right now, so fly an airplane to 5,000 meters, we can do, uh, and achieve an airspeed of 100 meters, we can do that as well. So we'll be able to kind of daisy chain these contracts together and uh, really, really get our money's worth out of our plane. So let's go ahead and build something new uh, now that we have new parts and uh, let's see what we can come up with. Okay, so we still have the same kind of cockpit, Mach 1 inline. Um, and uh, let's see, what kind of engines do we have now? So we started with the Juno, but now we have the Shooting Star and uh, the Weasley got that to work with 64 120 so this is pretty good is this a big engine let's see no not a big engine all right so we'll figure out what to do from here so first thing I want to do is set my IVA uh, to the warbirds cockpit and we're gonna go ahead and put circular intake right there on the front.
think that's all we need. We're just going to kind of make relatively simple plane. It may actually need to be longer just for the sake of length. Um, yeah, let's make it one more. There we go. do we want on this thing? Let's get our center of lift, center of mass situated. Oops. I feel like my mass is a little extra squirrely today. I feel like a wing of this size is going to create a lot of drag. I like that. I like that a little better. I like that shape. go get our surfaces all laid out. This is a pretty simple plane. Nothing nothing too fancy. Get our landing gear on the front. and situate them so they sit fairly evenly. There we go. Now, I think I want to do something on here before I kind of put on the final features. And that is, I want to add a second cockpit. Let's see, do I have other ways? to do. No, I only have this one. So we're going to throw two of those on there so we can bring a second Kerbal and this will allow us to do that parachute from a plane contract eventually and we can just kind of use the same thing with this. So let's call this JP1 in honor of our RP1 series with very simple namings. This is our very first jet plane. And uh, it is pretty much good to go. Now let's go ahead and get some science experiments on there. It's just getting longer and longer, but I think this will work out. Let's 
So we are just going to do all of these, except for the bathometry. We're going to do all of those in the air. Bathometry will be on the other side. And that's if we land in the water. So do AG1 equals sigh, AG2 equals bath. Um, and then AG3 will equal, oops, engine shutdown. Kill. go all right so we got our science experiments we've got our action groups uh, we've got our center of lift center of mass all set we got Jebediah Kerman in the seat we're not gonna bring anyone else for the time you know we will bring someone else for the test flight while we test fly this just so we'll have maximum weight uh, in our simulation so we know exactly how this plane will perform uh, fully loaded so anyways, uh, I will be right back, and we'll see you in a second. So I'm just stopping in here for a quick fix. We're going to get rid of the bathometry, and we are going to get rid of... I think it was the press map barometer. don't think we need those. Uh, and we are going to put some parachutes on here for uh, slowing down purposes. But we're going to just jump right back into that simulation. I had a lot of fun. Uh, we did two different flights of this, and uh, we're getting the hang of flying in a new way, which I'm excited to show you. But uh, we'll show you that once we get out on the runway for real. For now, let's go back into the simulator. Well, this worked better than I could have hoped for, and I'm excited to get it out on the runway. Let's just go ahead and take Bob out of the cockpit. I feel I have all the trust in Jeb, but uh, no need to risk any other Kerbal's lives if we don't need to. So let's go ahead and launch. Okay, so here we are once again on the runway, ready to take flight to go higher than we have ever gone, faster than before. I don't know about faster, but we're going to actually mark our speed this time, try to go over 100 meters per second. Uh, just as a recap, we've got a few contracts to work on so uh, fly up to 2500 meters fly up to 5000 meters achieve an airspeed of 100 meters per second and at some point we need to collect a mystery goo so uh, let's go ahead and hop in first person and I mentioned before that we are going to be flying this uh, a little differently than uh, normal and that is because we are once again using our T-16000 Thrustmaster joystick. So this will all be flown by hand um, by me, by joystick. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. First, because this is Warbirds after all, you do need to connect batteries and vital pieces. Go, got our seat ready, but that is pretty much all we need to do. Let's go ahead and throttle up and stage so that way our engines fire. We have our brakes on to kind of hold us back while we build up uh, our engine speed. And then we can just go ahead and turn them off because it doesn't take very long for this thing to spool up entirely. All right, so now we're gonna start pulling back on the stick. Ooh, losing control a little bit. Let's get our landing gear up and ascend go so could have been a little bit better of a takeoff but uh, still not too bad we are flying into the sunrise which means that uh, some will be in our eyes for a little bit but uh, it'll be nice when we land because the sun will be at our back so we'll have a little bit better of a, an idea of what we're looking at however it is kind of a misty foggy day today so it is a uh, going to be a challenge that's for sure at least if uh, the test flights proved but we did have some successful test flights so I feel pretty confident uh, flying this by by hand landing by hand and completing our uh, contract so let's go ahead and take a quick look at what we've got so far um, we are not quite up to 2,500 meters but we're we're getting there 
Oh, there we go. We just reached 2,000, so now we just gotta keep above it for the next 45 seconds. Um, 5,000 or not. So this 100 meter per second, we're already going faster than this, but we have too much vertical speed right now. So let's just try to tilt down just a little bit. Tilt down just a little bit. There we go. All right, less than 10 seconds, so we just need to hold it. And there we go, we got that. Let's see how long we just need to continue to be above 2,500. Easy enough. Four, three, two, and one. There we go, we completed that. So now all we need to do for those is land safely. Uh, 5,000 meters. Let's go ahead and do our science. Oh, we made it to 5,000 meters and we performed our mystery goo. So all of our uh, goals have been achieved so we can now head back home. So let's go ahead and tilt this and point it back towards the KSC. That's the island runway right there. KSC is somewhere over there yep and I said this uh, quite a few times during the test flights but uh, I'll say it here is I am really happy with the design of this aircraft this is so smooth so responsive it's uh, it's actually a lot of fun to fly this is very stable um, even with uh, even with joystick control I do I am using advanced fly-by-wire right now uh, so I do have a little bit more control than uh, a typical flight, but uh, you know, flying with the joystick is always a challenge. And speaking of challenge, as you see there, directly ahead of us, we have a nice layer of fog that has descended on the KSC, so we are going to have to navigate our way through that and land uh, carefully because we are going to need to land at the runway for, for uh, several of these missions. We're going to need to land safely and with all Kerbals alive and the plane intact. So I'm going to lower my throttle a little bit, not all the way, as I kind of dive below the fog, careful not to splash down. Peabody has uh, averted her eyes, she can't look. I uh, have not made any quick saves during this flight, nor do I plan to. We are just going to try to take her in the first time. All right, put down our landing gear. We are coming in fairly fast, but that's nothing that some parachutes can't handle. Okay, maybe it is. Okay, okay. Alright, let's kill our landing gear. <laughs> Bring our engine back up. Alright, let's come for a second pass on this. What happened to our parachutes? We don't have parachutes. There's no parachutes in that stage. Did we... Oh, maybe when we were... <sighs> the parachutes decided to come off of our craft for some reason, somehow? I don't know how that happened, but... Oh, is that from Dang It? The mod that, um... Handles parts failures? That might be a part failure that we just had. Yeah, so no, no parachutes for us. We'll have to kill... Kill our speed the good old-fashioned way. nicer still coming in short oh something blew off all right Let's try to turn our way back the runway maybe 
put on some throttle a little bit. Oh, oh, I think our engine. Yep, we have no more engine. Okay. So let's just try to get our way back up onto the runway because I think we need to be there. There we go, there we go. There we go. Put on our brakes. Uh, right as right as the rain starts to fall. That's gorgeous. Let's look at our contracts. We landed safely, even though we busted off our engine, it still considers that a safe landing. That's good. We just need to recover our mystery goo for that. And those contracts are completed as well. Ah. Uh, Bring Jebediah in. Everyone can breathe a sigh of relief that he is alive. And uh, yeah, so that was that was all I'm gonna do for today's episode. There was a lot that kind of went into that. Um, in the extended cut, there's a lot of uh, roaming around the KSC, doing experiments, doing all the science that allowed us to get to this point. So. Uh, again, if, if you're interested in more uh, of each episode of KSP POV, of the KXP, of the RP1, all of our Kerbal series, we're, we're doing extended cuts on our channel members, well, for our channel members, so if that is something you're interested in, please consider checking that out uh, after the video. But anyways, that is where I'm going to leave today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're looking forward for more KSP POV. If you did, please consider subscribing. Give me a like, drop me a comment, let me know your thoughts, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.